What I'd like to do briefly is to discuss the question of what is the purpose of a water tower? If you don't know what I'm talking about by a water tower, there are these things that look like this that you see in most towns and they are usually decorated in some fashion, uh, usually at least with the name of the town, maybe the local sports team mascot. Um, but what do they really do? What is their function? When I was young, um, when I would ask a nearby adult what they were for, they would say, well, they provide water, which is true. That is what, what they do, but is really a too simplistic answer for what they were really intended to the problem they're intended to solve. They do provide water. I used to think that there was enough water in here for the whole town and I wouldn't know what would happen when it ran out. Of course then I got older and I realized well there's a pump down here at the bottom and they pump it up there Then the que and they let it run back down but the question becomes why? So that's really the question of why do they pump the water up there if they're only going to let it run back down? Okay, so let's take a look at an analogous situation, which is an, a car engine. A car engine needs oil to run to lubricate it, or else it's going to seize up pretty quickly because there's lots of moving parts in there, and it gets very hot. It, need, it needs the oil to take the heat away. So the oil pump provides the oil from the oil pan, but even more than the oil itself, it has to provide it at a certain pressure. It needs to supply that oil pressure to all the parts of the line where the oil is circulating. The pressure is really the key term here, and that's, that's really the key to what the water tower provides as well. Looking at this system of the engine, the oil pump is a very simple pump. And it can afford to be simple because it has a constant demand from the engine. The engine can go faster and it can go slower, but even when the car is stopped, the engine is still running, right? And it doesn't get too much above or below a, a certain RPM. So the oil pump can afford to be a fairly simple pump based on this constant demand that it's getting from the engine. Okay, if the oil pump fails, then you need to take care of it right away because if the engine is not getting its pressure, then the oil is not circulating properly and the engine might seize up and you might end up with a big block of melted steel. So that's when the oil light comes on and you have to get to the mechanic right away. So, how is a water distribution system similar to an engine. Well, it needs to maintain pressure for one thing. The pressure has to go through all the lines. And just as something bad happens, if uh, the engine drops, the oil pressure drops to the engine, something bad is going to happen if the oil pressure drops in the water system. And that is because the water flowing through the pipes needs to be pushing out all the time. It needs to be under pressure, and that pressure needs to be pushing out. Because there might be leaks along these lines. And if there are leaks, if the water is not pushing out, then there might be some water outside that is getting in to that lower pressure. And that water from the outside is not clean water, it might have some sort of bacteria or virus or something like that, some sort of pathogen that can get in the water and contaminate it. So it's very important that that water be under pressure that is in the lines. Um, and as opposed to this constant demand of the engine, there is a non-constant demand from in the water system. There is an AM peak and a PM peak. The AM is when people get up and they take showers and they wash the dishes from breakfast and then they go to work and there is a trough and then when they come home from work then they 
take showers and they wash the dishes and they give the kids a bath and there's another peak there in, in the PM. So this is the key to the existence of the water tower because you have these peaks and troughs during the day. If you only had a pump system, there are pumps that are near the water filtration area. Um, the water fil filtration is usually down by the river or close to wherever the water is being taken in and there are pump systems there. But if the pump were the only thing providing pressure to the whole system, that would not be good. For one, re for one reason, it would have to be a very complex pump because it would have to be able to pump at different rates during different times of the day during these different troughs, the, the different peaks and troughs, right? So it would have to be, be able to pump a lot here and then pump a little down there and pump a lot again up there, right? Um, another thing would be that it is a single point of failure because you might have a system-wide power failure and all the pumps go offline and you have no way of maintaining that pressure. So even though there might be many pumps, the whole system could lose power, as often happens in a natural disaster, and then you would have nothing providing the pressure and nothing keeping out the pathogens. And also, your, the water in your house would slow to a trickle out of, out of the tap. So, how do they get around this? They use the water tower. So, during the trough time, the pump down here at the bottom of the water tower, it pumps the water up into the tower, and it sits there until the peak time. In the peak time, they let it flow back down. And so you have the pump from the water filtration area, and you also have the water flowing down from the water tower. And between the two of them, they maintain the water pressure. You'll notice that usually the water tower will be on the opposite side of town from the water filtration area. So between them, they can provide uh, the pressure to all the houses in between. Sometimes it gets a little bit tricky if it's a very hilly area because in general, they want to keep the PSI about 40. Um, they don't want to get too much more than 60 because that can cause plumbing fixtures to leak and they don't want to get anything below about 20 because that can be too low and it uh, might not maintain the integrity of the water system and it, it, the water might not come out properly from the taps in all the houses. So in order to maintain about 40 PSI in the system, they have a water tower at one end that is used as a buffer or I guess a, a smoothing out uh, device. It smooths out the demand for water during the day. That is the purpose of a water tower.